نحمد و نسلی و نسلم علی رسول الکریم اما بعد When it comes to meat, it is by default haram. One has to have 100% certainty to ensure that this is halal. Other than meat, all the food items are halal by default. Unless there is specific reason to believe otherwise. So with that background, the meat that we consume we should believe that this is haram because the animal that we are taking the meat from must die before we take the meat. It could be whichever different form, but there's only one way which shari- Sharia makes permissible to kill the animal in, and that is slaughtering, it's Islamic slaughtering. That slaughtering is achieved only through the way Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us either in Quran or in Hadith so severing the vessels in the neck jugular veins throat and esophagus so two jugular veins and these two so all together there are four so there should be at least three cut properly to drain the blood and then ensuring the meat is then halal from that dead animal otherwise if it's purely dead it is haram as per several ayat in quran inna harama alaykum al mayta mayta which is dead meat is haram for you the only exception is fish and locust based on the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the meat which is slaughtered of halal animals again it's specified in several hadith and there's consensus on that so the default of the meat is that this is haram you have to have 100% certainty that this is halal how do you know that that this is halal you have to have certification number 1 from reliable authorities in uk there is hfa and hmc halal food authority and halal monitoring committee hfa for chicken they do a bit of stunning stunning per se is okay as long as the animal doesn't die with that stunning and there is a risk and there's been proven in several studies that certain weak hearted animals or weak animals would die with that stunning maybe even if it's two to three percent or five percent according to some then that's still significant hmc does manual slaughtering now there's another problem with that uh, to say the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously when they do manual slaughtering they can say it but when it's done on mass the machine has been you know run by the person and the same blade cuts so many animals so there's a bit of tricky situation the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be called on each animal is not achieved they sometimes put a record and the loop recording so continues to do that bismillah rahman rahim obviously that's not the best way anyway so there are certain reason whereby hfa tends to be a little bit you know although it's inshallah ta'ala, according to some okay but not the best the best is hmc obviously with that caveat that since they have got that authority they can uh, monopolize it and there could be a lot of issues but inshallah ta'ala, we should have good opinion about our muslim brethren who are trying their best to uh, help us and, uh, and and get the sharia compliant meat now why they're slightly more expensive hmc uh, because they have manual slaughtering they have more manpower to be had to complete that work and also they have to go and visit places to get the certification checked now this is a price that one has to pay to get halal meat otherwise stop eating meat or get less meat maybe fish uh, hfa is cheaper relatively and that is why it is found in any halal shop unless it specifies 
HMC. You will find Tesco's or Asda's and others selling halal meat, and that halal meat tends to be HFA because that is slightly cheaper. Obviously, for business, that's what they would go for and would say halal. Now, their certification doesn't help. Like in you know, a non Muslim restaurant saying that this is halal is not um, acceptable because their witness is not accepted. Uh, why? Because this is a matter of purely religious knowledge which they haven't got idea of uh, not knowing it because of the fact that they're non-Muslim so we cannot take their meat and their witness about the halalness of the food so we should try and find out HMC place or places where people do manual slaughtering it doesn't have to be HMC any other place where they say we do manual slaughtering and you trust those brothers if they're fine and you know sensible people you can just take their meat as well inshallah ta'ala